ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on KCHEN. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of KCHEN. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at mga viewer natin at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yan. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. So today, ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Si Juliana is a second-year dentistry student of Centro Escolar University. Besides her studies, she loves doing nail and lash extensions. And when she's not busy with that, she enjoys skating on ice during her free time. Si Justin naman, dentistry student ng Centro Escolar University din. He loved performing and public speaking back when he was still a hum student. But now, he would rather cook and is now a certified foodie. Si Lester naman, graduating history major from UP Diliman, he calls himself a hustler. Juggling three jobs as a news analyst, tutor, and a volleyball coach. His hobbies include playing volleyball and watching movies and documentaries. And last but not least, we have Rav, who is a student also of UP Diliman. He is most interested in places and spaces. In his free time, he loves exploring online maps to discover new adventures that he'll add to his bucket list. He is also a beach person. So itong apat na daily winners natin will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, ito po ang mga suki natin. Unang-una, Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga ng Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. So get ready to buzz in, and without any more waiting, let's begin. This is round one. Question number one, contestants, here we go. The peseta was the currency of which country before it adopted the euro in 2002? The correct answer is Spain. Question number two, in mythology, which Greek goddess was associated with the symbols bow and deer and was identified... Yes, Lester. Artemis. Artemis was identified with the deity Diana of the Romans. Correct answer is Artemis, k -check. Question number three, Wendy, Michael, and John Darling Accompanied which famous literary character on his adventures to Neverland? Justin. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is the correct answer. K. Chen. Question number four. Which Roman general said, I came, I saw, I conquered in a battle in what is now Turkey? Julius Lester. Caesar. Julius Caesar is the correct answer. K. Chen. Question number five, what is the most common unit of measurement for the loudness of sound which was first used in the 1920s? Justin. Decibels. Decibel is the correct answer. k -check. Question number six, what dead language are French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian derived from? Lester. Latin. Latin is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. The best selling English novel of all time is a tale of two cities which has sold over 200 million copies. Which English novelist wrote a tale of two cities? The correct answer is Charles Dickens. Question number eight. In what sport did Wayne Gretzky win the Most Valuable Player Award nine times? Uh, 
Lester. Soccer. Soccer is incorrect. Rav. Football. Football is also incorrect. Justin. Ice hockey. Hockey is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number nine in mental math again. What is the arithmetic mean of 2, 2, and 32? Rav. 12. 12 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What is the most spoken language in Brazil? Lester. Portuguese. Portuguese is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Who directed the classic thrillers Psycho, The Birds, Rear Window, and North by Northwest? Lester? Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan is incorrect. The correct answer is Alfred Hitchcock. Last question for this round. Amman is the capital of which Middle Eastern country, Rav? Oman. That is incorrect. Esther. Yemen. Yemen is also incorrect. The correct answer is Jordan. And that's it for our first round. And after that first round, we have Lester in the lead with 40 points, followed by Justin with 30, Rav with 10, and Juliana with 0 points for now. So two more rounds to go. And in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy po ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. So, tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, just to recap, Lester is in the lead with 40 points, Justin with 30, Rav with 10, and Juliana with 0 points. And now, it's time for round 2 contestants. Remember, merong twist sa round na ito. Dahil dito, each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, to all of you, good luck. Let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. This is round two, question number one. The historic meeting of Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae-in in April 2018 was between leaders of which two countries? Lester. North Korea and South Korea. North Korea and South Korea is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. MJ the Musical is a Broadway musical based on the life of which famous American singer? Justin. Michael Jackson. Kung nagkamali ka pa, i-dismiss ka namin. Michael Jackson is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the name of the narrow strait that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea and separates Europe and Africa? Yes, Lester. Suez Canal. That answer is incorrect. Panama Canal. Juliana, the answer is also incorrect. Rav. Bering Strait. Bering Strait is also incorrect. Did you want to try, Justin? Are you sure you did not know that the correct answer was the Strait of Gibraltar? Okay, question number four. What is the title of the musical TV series that aired on Fox from 2009 to 2015 that centers on the choir group New Direction? Justin. Glee. Glee is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What is the surname of the scientist who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901 for discovering X-rays? Lester. Curie. The answer is incorrect. The 
The correct answer is Röntgen. Wilhelm Röntgen discovered the X-ray and won a prize in 1901. Question number six. What famous cycling race started in Bilbao, Spain and ended in Paris in the 2023 edition? This is known as the Tour de France. Question number seven. Jawaharlal Nehru served as Prime Minister of what South Asian nation from 1947 to 1964? Rav. India. India is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Regarded as the father of English science fiction, which novelist wrote the books The Time Machine, The Invisible Man, and The War of the Worlds? The correct answer is H.G. Wells. Question number nine. A dish labeled Florentine includes which green leafy vegetable, which is also associated with Popeye? Justin. Spinach. Spinach is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number 10. What do you call the Japanese manufacturing system in which the supply of components is regulated? Yes, Rev. Kanban. Kanban is the manufacturing system of Japan in which the supply of components is regulated through the use of an instruction card sent along the production line. Kanban is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What do you call the system composed of the structures that serve the sense of smell, especially like the nose? Rav. Olfactory. Olfactory system is the correct answer. K check. And question number 12, the last question for this round. Which deaf and blind crusader wrote the autobiography The Story of My Life and was the main character in the film The Miracle Worker? The correct answer is Helen Keller. Helen Keller is the deaf and blind crusader who wrote the autobiography, The Story of My Life, and is the main character in the film, The Miracle Worker. And that's it for our second round. Kamustahin naman natin ang ranking ng ating mga contestants after round two. Well, Justin is still in the lead with 90 points, pero humahabol na rin si Rab with 60. Na humahabol naman si Lester kay Rab with 40 points. And Juliana, kailangan din naman humabol. So, marami pa tayong points ahead pagdating ng ultimate pagalingan round, which is next here on K-Check. Welcome back to the K-Check Weekly Finals. At this point, bago po tayo mag-proceed sa next round, just to recap, Justin leads with 90 points, followed by Rab with 60, Lester with 40, and Juliana with negative 10. Pero hindi pa po natin alam kung ano mangyayari kasi meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tandaan, sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Correct answers here are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. So, let's begin. Well, with a total of 360 points that can be won in this round, who will be our weekly winner is anybody's guess. So, to start off the ultimate pagalingan round, let's call on Prof. Glassy. Ito na. Ano ang termino na ginagamit noong panahon ng Kastila upang tukuyin ang tinatawag ni Resil Mojares na Brains of the Nation? Letter A, Indios. Letter B, Peninsulares. Letter C, Ladrones. Letter D, Ilustrados. And letter E, Ereges. Lester. Letter D, Ilustrados. Correct answer is letter D, Ilustrados. K-check. 
Nako, nasa second place na si Lester. Di ba? So, tingnan natin. Maaga pa. Prof. Neil, your question please. Ano ang anyo o uri ng budhismo ang may paniniwala sa Bodhisattva? Isang taong kayang abutin ang nirvana, ngunit ipinagpaliban ang pagsagawa nito upang mailigtas ang mga nilalang nawawala sa tamang landas. A. Varata B. Mahayana C. Theravada D. Shivaites E. Sikhism Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Mahayana Maraming salamat Prof. Neil Prof. Marla Molecular Biology Which term refers to genetic elements that can move or jump within a genome? A. mRNA B. tRNA C. rRNA D. miRNA E. transposons Lester A. mRNA Mali E. Transposons These are also called jumping genes. They are the E. Transposons. K-check! After that first round, tied for first place, Justin and Rav with 90 points each. Prof. Glessy. Ano ang pamagat ng dulang nagpasikat kay Lea Salonga bilang Kim sa isang Broadway play? Lester. Miss Saigon. Let me continue. At sa buong mundo. Letter A, Oklahoma. Letter B, Miss Saigon. Letter C, Rent. D, Ang Huling El Bimbo. And letter E, Gomburza. The correct answer is letter B, Miss Saigon. K-check. At mukhang hahabol pa talaga si Lester. Justin and Rob with 90 points each. Lester with 85 points. Prof. Neil, your question please. What is the oldest existing English newspaper in the Philippines? A. Business World B. Daily Tribune C. Manila Bulletin D. Manila Standard E. Manila Times Lester C. Manila Bulletin Mali Rav Daily Tribune Mali Justin Manila Times Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Manila Times, K-Check. So, naghahari na naman si Justin bilang nasa first place natin. Prof. Marla. A mixotroph is an organism with what? A. Multiple forms. B. Mixed modes of nutrition. C. Varied body shapes. D. Mixed genetic traits. E. Mixed reproductive methods. Mixotrophs have different ways of obtaining and utilizing food sources or letter B, mixed modes of nutrition. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. After the first two rounds, halfway through our ultimate pagalingan round, Justin is in first place with 120 points, Rav is in second place with 75, Lester in third with 70 points. So let's begin the third round, Prof. Glessy. Ano ang pamagat ng diksyonaryong ito na sinulat ng dalawang paring Juan Jose de Noceda at Pedro de Sanlucar at itinuturing na pinaka-popular na sanggunian ukol sa mga salitang taal na Tagalog? Lester, Diksyonaryo de la Lengua Tagala. Okay. Let me continue. Letter A, Vocabulario Tagala. Letter B, Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala. Letter C, Tagalog Dictionary. Letter D, Diksyonaryo de la Lengua Tagala. Letter E, Diksyonaryo Espanyol e Tagala. Lester, wrong answer. The correct answer is letter B, Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala. 
Prof. Neil? Sa taong 1936, nagkaroon ng kasunduan ang Germany at Japan na tinawag na anti comintern Pact na naglalayong labanan ang bansang ito. A. France, B. Poland, C. Soviet Union, D. United Kingdom, E. United States of America. Lester, C. Soviet Union. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Soviet Union, K-check. Lester's back in second place with 85 points. Prof. Marla. Okay, in April 2024, it was reported that the Court of Appeals of the Philippines issued an order to stop the release of genetically modified rice and which other agricultural product? A. Tomato B. Potato C. Soybean D. Eggplant E. Papaya The correct answer is D. Eggplant Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. We now move into the last round of our ultimate pagalingan round. But before we continue, Justin is in the lead with 120 points. Lester with 85, Rab with 75. So, with 90 possible points in this round, let's see kung sino nga ang magiging weekly winner natin. Prof. Glessy, umpisahan na ang last and final round. Okay. Isinulat niya ang Fry Botod, isang satirika ukol sa pagmamalabis ng mga prayle noong panahon ng Espanyol. Sino ang manunulat na ito? Letter A, Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Letter B, Graciano Lopez Haina. Letter C, Mariano Ponce. Letter D, Jose Rizal. Letter E, Apolinario Mabini. Tamang sagot ay letter B, Graciano Lopez Haina. Second to the last question with Prof. Neil. What is the collective term for materials and objects from which historians construct meanings about the past? A. Artifacts B. Documents C. Relics D. Testimonies E. Sources Lester E. Sources Ang tamang sagot ay letter E. Sources K-check Naku, Justin has 120 points Lester trails by a mere 5 points Prof. Marla, last question for the round Naka-stress <laughs> What term refers to the measure of the disorder or randomness of a system? A. Entropy B. Enthalpy C. Temperature D. Kinetic energy E. Potential energy Juliana A. Entropy The correct answer is A, Entropy. K-Check! And we have a winner. That's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Justin, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 120 points. Maraming salamat din ang nagpahirap din sa kanya. Lester with 115 points with Rav and Juliana. Maraming salamat for joining. And of course, sa hindi napapagod na members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. With Jules Giang, this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. See you again on Monday for another round here on K-Check. Yeah.